10 years ago this company wanted to build electric vehicles run on lithium batteries. This is the Wave 2 car. Uh, this is a, a full electric drivetrain, so it's a single speed transmission, uh, lithium batteries, uh, our own proprietary battery management system, and then just to really top off the whole package, we just put a very safe yet aerodynamic body around it. Lion is actually the abbreviation for lithium ion batteries, which is what propels it. Our battery management system does an awesome job of making sure we have as much energy as we need. The body itself is a full composite and it is a steel tubular chassis, so you've got a lot of good safety and strength in there too. Mm -hmm. But the composite design is really meant to absorb a lot of the impacts and help to bring those forces around the driver compartment instead of right through the middle of them. Performance-wise, the aerodynamics and the shape in this body is what's really propelling this thing to the front of this. I was driving it on highways in North Carolina, Interstate 77, and you wouldn't believe the spectacle it caused people with cell phones in the windows, people taking photos, and most people accept and think, think that it's cool, especially women. They love it. When you walk up to the car and you see how smooth the lines are and how just everything fits form and function on the shape of the car. That's really what stands out, I think. We're sitting in Michigan here where it all started, and uh, it's pretty interesting to bring, bring the future to Michigan and try to introduce these people and the world to uh, what we think cars are going to be built like in the future. Most cars, I figure if you check them at 100,000 miles, they use 90,000 of them driving back and forth to work. You know? So that's the, the part that I think people need to, to focus on is that daily commute. We looked at a, a, something that you could drive to work every day, something that you could drive you know, on a day-to-day -day basis for your normal commute, so it's got a great range. The other thing that we looked at was, well, what do you do with this car? You, know? you still have to go grocery shopping, you still have to pick stuff up. I mean, we can put a week's worth of groceries and probably four or five cases of soda in the back of the Wave car and, and it still gets the, the great mileage and it has the aerodynamics and everything to back it. You've got air conditioning and heat in your stereo and all the creature comforts you've always had. The only difference is you don't stop at the gas station. We were in the process of building the Wave car and um, the Progressive XPRIZE come along. It looked like a, just an awesome opportunity for us to be able to show the world what, what we were doing or introduce them to, to what they might be driving in the future. Well, I'm hoping that this brings some fresh ideas uh, for the engineers to take a look at, you know, to take it to the next level. If I was going to pitch the car in four words, just off the top of my head, I'd probably have to use the word practical. I'd have to use the word fun. I'd have to use the word new um, and futuristic.